Hey, good Tuesday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Market Intel Brief here at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, my call sign is Wiz, and we are opening up the doors for our Q1 2024 full throttle industry leading training program. Ladies and gentlemen, head to go.topgunoptions.com slash launch FT. That stands for launch full throttle. We're going to kick off Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, before football and obviously the spectacular stunning collapse of the philadelphia eagles we won't uh talk about man what a well, i just i'm not going to talk about it at least we lasted one day longer uh than the cowboys so uh, uh a welcome aboard brief uh sunday at 1 p.m and then i am going to trade live for the next days well actually monday through thursday at 10 a.m each day whiz i work i got kids or whatever's going on don't matter register and i'll get you access to the replays and i'm going to show you how last year look at this folks look at 2023 the so-called smart money got destroyed i saw about a hundred and fifteen percent profit last year as the smart money got destroyed. Look at the Dow, 7%. The S&P, 19%. 37% return for the NASDAQ, the tech-heavy NASDAQ. I destroyed all of them. This is the year, folks. 2024, you're going to take control of your financial future. This ain't rocket surgery, folks. It ain't hard. There's a little bit of elbow grease in the beginning to get you airborne, and then you can be self sufficient i will train you to be a single seat independent fighter pilot options trader join today check it out for free i'm the only guy that does this folks open up the doors for free so you can come into our regular members only briefs man no death by powerpoint no hey look at all my old past trades i'm going to show you what i'm doing right now what give trades we have on and what i'm targeting for max profit in the future go.topandoptions.com slash launch ft real quick make sure you check out uh, the No Fallen Heroes YouTube page and subscribe. We need a hell of a lot more yeah. 397 subscribers. There is some incredible content on here, folks. The most recent Max Afterburner podcast has healing trauma from Columbine. Chris Macklin, call sign chicken, one of the first guys in the door at the Columbine massacre in the library with, with those kids. Healing his trauma through the No Fallen Heroes Foundation and Psychedelic Assisted Therapy. Please go check out the No Fallen Heroes YouTube page, subscribe to it, and you can also listen to the Max Afterburn podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever cool kids listen to podcasts, catch up uh, on that. If you're going to work out, you're sitting in traffic, throw on the Max Afterburner podcast and get back up to speed. And finally, before we get airborne, do me a favor. We're trying to build out the No Fallen Heroes LinkedIn page. We only have 66 followers. I think more than 100, you, you can start doing stuff. So do me a favor. If you have a LinkedIn account, go to LinkedIn and follow the No Fallen Heroes page uh, as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get airborne. I can't believe it's four years. You ready? Four years ago this week, Davos, I'll never forget it, man. It changed my life. Well, and a lot of people's lives, unfortunately, many for the worse. Uh, what happened? Davos. All It's that time of the year, folks. All the beautiful people, they hop in their business jets, they fly to Davos and do what? Well, first of all, they hang out with escorts, um, right? Uh, but um, they go and lecture us on what? Global warming, right? A bunch of limousine liberals in their business jets. They can't carpool, right? They can't like jump on each other's jets. No. They're going to go and lecture us on how we need to get rid of gas stoves and stuff and listen to Greta Thunberg. Unbelievable. I can't stand Davos. It's a self-licking ice cream cone. The, all these, it's just, it's awful, right? Where's the veterans that are there? I, I, I'd love to go to Davos and talk to some of these people, but... Four years ago this week, what happened, folks? Joe Kiernan, CNBC, throwaway question before Trump left the interview. Oh, wait, Mr. President, before you leave, what's up with this China flu? Is there like some China bug? Dumb question, Joe. Not coming to the United States. I trust Xi. Good backswing. Been to Mar a Lago. Love the guy. You're an idiot. I'm out of here. I looked into this camera. I told my members, get out. Buy puts on the S&P 500, get long volatility. He's lying i 
made millionaires at Top Gun Options as the smart money got destroyed. Remember Ray Dalio, world's largest hedge fund manager, looked into the camera four years ago at Davos and said what? Cash is trash. <laughs> Remember some of those guys were crying on CNBC weeks later. Oh, we need to shut the markets down. Oh my God, everybody's getting... No, 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 no. We don't need to shut the markets down there, Chief. I'm on the other side of all your bullish trades and I turn little old ladies in tennis shoes into millionaires. Got all the documentation and I turned me into a multi-millionaire. This ain't hard, folks. Another, unfortunately, or for, well, you know what? Unfortunately for humanity and civilization, fortunately for me, it's going to happen again. I don't know if it's going to be a chain of virus or something. We are in a bad place. And I'm going to print money off of it. Xi Jinping is purging his military. Why? Of generals who don't want to fight the United States. Oh, that's great news. Um, raging inflation. Did you see what happened last week, folks? Inflation edged up. Thought we were winning the war against inflation. Well, that's because you listen to stupid people. Look at this. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, inflation, Donald Trump, inflation, Democrats, boom. Oh, it has nothing to do with us. It's it's Ukraine. It's the Putin price hike. It's supply chain issues. It's COVID. And then inflation starts coming. Oh, it's everything we're doing. What? You can't make it. Stupid people are just stupid people. Look at this raging inflation. Then what happened? Boing. Look at that, folks. Overall inflation has ticked up. It has bottomed out where it topped out under Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, inflation is still raging and the Fed is not done yet. We have a lot of volatility ahead this year, folks. Look at this. The Fed posts its largest ever annual operating loss. Fed's balance sheet is disgusting, folks. We are 34 P trillion dollars in debt and going deeper every second that goes by. Leadership by example. So what do we do? The we the people, not me. Some of you do. Absolutely engaging in historic debt binge. Delinquencies, people are racking up credit card debt, all sorts of debt and saying what? Well, Joe Biden said with the stroke of a pen, he could wipe out three quarters of a trillion dollars in student loan debt. Uh, no, no, he can't. The Supreme Court ruled against it. Well, he kind of changed the word puppy and made it small dog and said he could do it like this. Unbel the chief law enforcement of this country said publicly, I don't think it's legal to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'll see you in court. With leaders like this, can consumers be forgiven? Like spending, uh, you know, spending like drunken sailors? I used to be a drunken sailor. I know what that's like. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big show coming in the economy. You ready for this? The stock market is going to go up. If that confuses you, you need to register for the briefs next week. Go.topgunoptions.com slash launch FT. As a matter of fact, the worse the economy gets, the higher stocks most likely will go. Now, before 2008, Wiz would walk up to me recording this and smack me in the face because that makes no sense. And then I punch him in the gut because welcome to the new market. The Obama 2008, everybody gets a trophy. We're going to bail out Wall Street. Companies are too big to fail. What about my buddy's restaurants in Fort Lauderdale during COVID? No, 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 they, they, they can fail. We're talking about like, you know, big companies and donors. So a crash up can happen this year. Why? Because Jerome Powell has proven, I'm just going to print money out of thin air and drive us deeper and deeper into debt, which actually creates inflation, but that's a longer story. Now, I might sound all over the place, but I'm not. The economy, what's going on politically in this country, the world, the Houthi rebels attacking uh, our, our troops in Iran, attacking our troops in uh, uh, Iraq, two Navy SEALs missing, presumed dead in the Red Sea. Hamas, Israel, Xi Jinping, Taiwan, Ukraine, Russia, an absolute shit show. Don't get me wrong. I always got one hand on the ejection handle and, and one eye on the door. Where's the emergency exit? You trade the market you have, not the one you want. Not that I want a down market, but what I'm saying is, folks, I am ready to go. As an options trader, you really don't care. I can make money 
no matter if the market's going up, down, or sideways. Matter of fact, look at the, look at all this volatility towards the end of last year. Down, up, down, up, whoa, way up. What the hell did my portfolio do during all of that? Look at this. Let me scroll down. Men lied. That, this is a screenshot from my E-Trade brokerage account, 84.65. Look at as all that stuff started happening. I never looked back. As there's blood in the streets, the Wiz fighter and his TGO members can potentially print money. Not potentially, we actually did print money. I always got to say potentially because my attorney has listened. But guess what? That happened. <laughs> so going forward, I have to use potentially. Potentially, we can. Uh, but folks, it happened. As the market went to shit and was all all over the place, we printed money. And potentially, <laughs> we can do that this coming year ahead. Go.topgunoptions.com slash launch FT. That stands for launch full throttle. You have got to register even if you can't make all these briefs so you can get access to the replays. Make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, trading is a form of combat. Somebody's going to win and somebody's going to get their ass handed to them. And I don't like getting my ass handed to me. It really hasn't happened that much, especially in the markets and especially over the skies of either Iraq or Top Gun in Fallon, Nevada. Register and take your portfolio full throttle for 2024. Have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you're hedged like we are in case the market implodes. Fights on. Namaste. And Basi, Basi, with 